and we are jumping into a pirate council as the Free Arcadian Coalition of Knights attempts to keep their organization secret as well as um, drawing new uh, pirate allies in their fight against the Albrechtian Empire and in an effort to keep the Arcadian Straits free and weird. What's in the center of town at <laughs> the... Uh, cusp of dusk, just as the sky begins to change its color. You can look from one end of the town to the other as the streets are lined with pirates, merchants, sailors, and freebooters. Scarlet, or Scar, remains standing as she looks to the lawn. Tell us then, Admiral James, as you've called us all here today, you hold the whole of Drim Trosavar in your gaze. What warrants this council? So we've come here today because the shark people. Eating our crew, taking our boats, taking your boats. I was about to say not yours, um. <laughs> and not eating my crew either. But I find myself in a position where I like you all. So my friends have ways to help if you'd like to hear them. You live by these seas and these waters and these land is yours because you work on it. I am a child in these streets, and right now someone is trying to take my home away from me. Yes, but the point remains. This is not a council of children. Why should we listen to you? And I have been sailing as a freelancer and working my way through many of your crews, assisting, giving my life for you and your people. Imperial ships are hard targets to take. They are heavily armored, heavily gunned. However, they also wouldn't be expecting a pirate fleet to come coming over the horizon to attack. No. They would not. Oh. Last, last they heard, it was six people who infiltrated the island. Coming with force would be unexpected and glorious. We have the chance for wealth. We have the chance to free the seas and keep our ships safe. Let me rephrase your ships safe. I don't use the water. We got fish, man. We got a megalodon. We got a kraken. A cat touches her ankle and cascades again. I gotta know something real quick here, Scarlet. None of this appeals to you. To you, you would simply carry about doing business as usual. Is that what I'm here to understand? Or do you have some grander solution, perhaps, for all of us? I admit things are bleak for the moment. But given the chance to live or die, I choose to live. The oceans right now are a dangerous place, and you are men of danger, you are women of danger, you are pirates. And, and we have gone farther than any small group of mercenaries you could possibly have seen here before. Tell us we have not proven ourselves, or tell us how to do it again. This is not Swade Scarlet. No. Um, Never would. Epoch was, he's on board anyway, at least through most of it. Um, White likes it. And he wants to be on board, but he, this hasn't superseded his suspicion. Got it. You all come here. No ship, no allegiance. You bounce from crew to crew. You take jaunts and adventures. You 
catch the empire by the tail, lead them across the seas, and sink one of my ships. And still, you ask more. I would know who are you to ask? We are willing tools, sir. You hate the Empire and long for freedom, as you do. And in our souls, that we may not have a seat in your Admiralty. I believe. For the thought of freedom and life on your own, we are pirates. We have had leaders here, but we are being given three rights as a pirate should have. And I merely want to save my home. White nods in respect. Is much that we have to do. You are come with information to this value. That is appreciated. I, for one, will assist in killing these. Shark beasts. Epoch remains standing. I will assist in those of the madams who may call upon me freely. Scarlet looks at Alon James. And they stare. Since we've reached the fool's portion of the day, I will retire and take my crews with me. If you are committed to Suicide runs, pointless ventures. Do it on your months. I will keep my schedule. And when you all break yours, our alliance will be at an end. Well done, Alan. I always said you would be the death of us. She turns and begins to walk away. Go on then, run away. Uh, she can respond. She recognizes the message. When I burn this place to the ground, I'll piss on your ashes. Is that what your captains think? Oh, yes. Shall we? Hold the leadership. I don't see the need, Alan. Really? Then what's the harm? Come for her, Alan. I, love Come her. I would like to. Alan is coming for her it's way. Fine. I would like to. I would like to inspire Alan, please. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. By saying out loud. Um, <laughs> out loud, um, it's, it's less of a inspiring him and more of a slight disparage of her, but okay. I'd like him to take the D6 anyway. Sure. Um, I say, well, no, if they're braver than her, they might decide they just don't need her. If you're ever looking for a new app, <laughs> I have room under my flag. Blaza agrees quickly. He's like, I, I would like that. And read, read with a stiff upper lip and a resolution that unnerves you. Goes, No alone. I believe I still have business under the banner. Of Admiral Scott. It's to turn. What were you going to message uh, in, and then in I'll, Reed's I'll head? Yep. Um, if ever there was a time for you to take charge of these people, it would be now. You could have your back. It is a tempting offer, but their die is cast. 
the ability to force contact. And I suck into this room. And I message back, when we are on your side, when that is ready to happen. Then I'll see you tomorrow. <gasps> oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, oh, my my mom! Ah, we're killing Scott and I am ready for this shit! <laughs> and with 